to Deepa Does It. My name is Deepa Prashad, and on every single episode of this show, I will be well doing things. I'm super nervous about this part. Oh yeah. I'm doing another bite, sorry. Oh, Just God. get it in your mouth. <laughs> okay, but actually on every episode, I will do my very best to recreate a professional chef signature dish. Now when it comes to food, I love food. I love to eat food, but can I make it? Meh, not so much. Today we have Chef Raquel Fox with us. She's a celebrity chef and she's an expert when it comes to Caribbean cuisine. And today she's actually gonna be teaching me how to make her very famous cracked lobster sandwich with fried bread. Sounds really good, but also really hard to make. So while she's doing it, I'm gonna take some notes and then after, I'm gonna do my best to recreate the piece while she's actually critiquing my skills from another room. This is gonna be fun. Oh, I am just so excited I about your show. And I can't wait to teach you a historic bohemian recipe that's near and dear oh. to my heart. Let's do it. So I'm going in with a tablespoon of butter. And this is going to be fun because I'm gonna break it up into pieces. Ooh. You know, as if we were making, um, I guess, a, a pastry or pie crust and just, you know, incorporating the butter into the flour mixture. So now this is pretty good for me right here because this is really a rustic bread, right? And the last ingredient we have is actually whole milk. Oh. Okay, now, I'm gonna eyeball this because okay. it's a feel. <laughs> okay. And what I'm doing is just pouring milk until it comes together to form into a ball. Okay. A ball of dough. And I'm gonna get my hands in here a bit because I really wanna feel it. So, this is my first ball. And I'm gonna roll it around. And look how rustic it is, right? I'm not trying to be a perfectionist here. And we're just going to drizzle in some ghee here. Mm. And I'm eyeballing it just enough to grease our pan. So I'm placing it in. And three is enough to fit without overcrowding. Mm -hmm. So how long do you typically cook it on each side for? Okay, so it's gonna cook for three minutes on one side, and then we're gonna flip it three minutes on the other side. So in the oven, it goes for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. I was able to find some Caribbean spiny lobster tails. Starting at the edge of the tail, you're gonna use the tip of your knife. Okay. And we're gonna pierce it and just straight down in the center. Okay. All right. I have sure never done slide. this before. I it's gonna be quite interesting to try this on my own. Go, right? You know, we're gonna use some of the that uh, arm muscle yeah. going on there. Which is non-existent <laughs> in my body. And it comes out so easily. <laughs> I want all of it to the last drop of this succulent lobster meat. Okay, so that wasn't too difficult. Not at all, Just right? Just a cut and a pull straight out. Exactly. Okay. So just go ahead and measure and point the knife downwards. That's gonna be one. Oh, those two, are nice chunks. And three. So now I have four nice pieces. So, Deepa, we're simply going to add some buttermilk to oh. one of our bowls. Right? <laughs> Look at how Add a little. thick that is. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. And now I'm going in with one cup of flour mm -hmm. and one cup of cornstarch. Do you know why that is? Is it better for when you're frying it? Does it like hold better, make it a bit thicker, the batter? It makes it crispier. Oh, crispier. Cornstarch. Sorry, that's <laughs> what I meant to say. I'm just gonna go ahead and you know, mix it up a bit here, cornstarch and flour. One other ingredient to the buttermilk, we're gonna add an egg. So I'm just gonna. My whisking skills are atrocious, by the way. <laughs> I whisk with a fork, is that normal? That's absolutely fine. Okay, yeah. What you have is what you have, make it work. <laughs> In goes my lobster meat. Mm -hmm. Just make sure it's nicely coated. Yeah. And then it goes into the flour mixture. 
we are just gonna set it aside next to our portable deep fryer into our fryer basket. And does the oil have to be a certain temperature before you get ready to fry uh, it? 325 to 350 works just fine. Perfect. <laughs> okay. And in it goes. So how long do you typically fry it for? So this is seafood, right? We don't want to overcook lobster. So watch it, but it's nicely golden for approximately five minutes. Okay, that's pretty quick. Been about five minutes, and here we have crispy, golden, deliliciousness. Oh, that, per oh. that color is perfect. Right? Nice. Okay. Those are very generous size, like, oh, size yeah. pieces of lobster. <laughs> this is actually enough for two sandwiches. It really is. Nice. Or one sandwich with extra lobster for dipping. Okay, Deeper, so I was telling you about my secret sauce. My gumbe sauce, I also call it gumbe aioli because that's what it is, okay. aioli. And we're going in with our mayo <gasps> and um, you know, you can go in with half a cup or a cup. Depends on how much you want to make. Then I'm going to go in with uh, about a teaspoon or so of my Dijon mustard. Nice. Ketchup. I'm eyeballing, which I feel would be about a tablespoon. You can go in with a tablespoon to two. Then it's going to give this uh, a little more sweetness and some color. Yeah, a nice bright color. Right? Just about a teaspoon of fish sauce. Ooh. Dill goes very well with seafood. We can just go ahead and add some dill. As soon as you smell the bread, it's practically done. So oh. even if we didn't have a timer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Voila. Honestly, as soon as you open the oven, you could just smell it in the entire kitchen. It smells right? like sweet and coconutty and buttery as heck. Yes. Cut open our journey bread. Okay. Our journey fried bread. And oh, oh. can you get still hot? Oh, yes. <laughs> still nice and hot, yes. warm. I like to go in with some of this luscious aioli and just drizzle it. Okay. A few pieces of this cracked lobster. Holy crap. How rustic is that? Lettuce. Mm -hmm. Tomato slice. And of course, more. 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 Yes, yes, more. <laughs> Drizzling and dropping and just, yeah. Can you hold that together <laughs> and take a bite? Okay, I will try. <laughs> Let's go yes. for this. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Seriously, life changing sandwich. It's just so good because you have so many flavors, like the sweetness from the bread. Mm -hmm. It's so crumbly. Yes. The extreme crunch from the yes. lobster. Girl. <laughs> yeah, so I heard actually that journey cake is something that pirates used to make. I say if Blackbeard could do it, yeah. you can do it, Deepa. <laughs> Slogan of the day. <laughs> I can do it. Arr. <sighs> okay, let's do it. So I'm gonna get started with the journey bread. The Johnny cake, I remember that part. So um, first thing we need to do is flour. I believe this is my measuring cup. So two cups of flour. I remember, you know, you gotta do a nice little, I just realized I forgot my gloves. That was like step one of the process. All right, well, you know what? This flour is still usable, so that's gonna go in there. I'm gonna find my gloves. Okay, gloves are on. Second cup of flour, commencing now. Cup two of flour, again, a nice, Shifting shimmy off. We toss that in there. Then we also need sugar for some sweetness. I think that was like half a cup of sugar. I feel professional today, so I'm going to eyeball it because Chef Raquel says eyeballing is the best method. So here we go. Okay, to eyeball, you have to be experienced with measurements, but okay. <laughs> so I think this, the, <laughs> I think that's like half a cup of sugar or two. <laughs> Okay, so we have the sugar in there, coconut, coconut as well. 
Um, I know she was saying with the coconut, you can like put as much or as little as you like. So I love coconut. So I'm gonna add a little bit extra more. There we go, a nice snowy spring. Oh. Okay, I think that was a bit too much. I think I got a little bit too excited about the coconut, so that goes back in there. Can I let you guys in on a secret? I have a piece of paper <laughs> with some, you know, some ingredients list just in case I forgot. I think milk comes last because that's when I'm mixing it together. So the last thing to put in before we get to the mixing is the butter. <gasps> this is the fun part. I love to play with butter. So I think it was about half a cup of butter. Gosh. Or uh, it is, I lied, um, a quarter cup of butter. So it's a quarter cup of butter. Um, how do we measure a quarter cup? Deepa, all you need is a tablespoon of butter. Two tops. So I'm just gonna say that like probably about half of this is a quarter cup. So we're gonna like, you know, plop it in there. All right, so it's gonna be an extra sticky dough, quite buttery. So we're just gonna break it apart. I'm gonna go with my instinct. I'm just gonna kind of squish this together, get the butter worked in there with the coconut. Ooh, do you see the flower rising? I don't know what you're seeing right now. <laughs> the flower's not rising. This is heavy, okay. So with this, I know she said one hand in the actual mixture. Let's see what happens here. And you're just pouring it, you're just mixing it so that you can get a nice texture, get it into a nice ball. She was way more elegant at this. Looks a little bit clumpy, so I need some more milk in there. Get all the sides. Just kind of fold it into each other and squish. You're doing all so far so good. I think I made this too sticky. <laughs> Get back in the game. I think, <laughs> I think I need a new glove. All right, new gloves. New Deepa, let's go. Okay, I think I do need a little bit extra flour in here because it was like super sticky and that was definitely my fault. Good recover. So to me, this looks good. It's like a, <laughs> it's a very rustic ball. Still a little too sticky. More flour. Okay, this already feels so much better. Like it's like my glove isn't falling off at this point. Ah. Uh. Looking better. I'm gonna use that as a good indication. So we're gonna do three pieces of the bread. So give it a little roll. I'm gonna put some flour on there too, just so that it's not sticking too much to my hands. She's adding flour, she's remembering. So we have our clarified butter, our ghee. We're just gonna put a splash in there just to make sure it gets enough coating. So I don't know if there's a method of doing this but it's gonna flip. Oh yeah! Round of applause for me at home. Uh, I think I deserve it. All right, so I'm gonna let this cook on the other side for another like three to four-ish minutes. I'm super nervous about this part, so I'm gonna take the lobster. Ugh. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do this part. So with my knife, tip down, straight into the shell. You wanna hear it crack. Oh! I don't think this is how I'm supposed to do it. I'm gonna do my own way. Let's just... <laughs> Maybe I didn't cut it properly. You know what? I think my bread is probably ready to flip. Also, I wanna take a break from this because I'm not doing so well. So let me check on that. I hope that I didn't burn this. I should have told her how to recover from a burnt, fried Johnny bread. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Her timing was way off. It was way over three minutes, and um, she had to smell it before she realized, right? Smell the burnt. At that point, it's too late. And now into the oven, where it'll bake and hopefully not burn anymore. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out how to get this meat out. I'm like, am I just at the point where I'm just, I can just rip it 
Come on, lobster, work with me here. I'm, I'm trying not to get too personal with you today, but you're making this real difficult. The lobster is out, so I'm gonna throw this, wash my hands, put on my gloves, because I'm gonna chop it next, and then start seasoning it. So now I just have to cut up the lobster, and I know she said about um, one and a half inch-ish piece, pieces. Here we go, second, oh! I think I cut it too big. So we're just gonna make sure this is nice and seasoned. So I don't know, to me this looks really good. Now it is time for the drenching bit, so we have to separate the dry ingredients from the wet ingredients. So let's do the wet ingredients first. So one and a half cups of buttermilk. Oh, creamy. One cup of flour in here. I think I have just enough for that. Put a little bit more. A cup of cornstarch. And then for the wet, the wet ingredients, I still have to do the egg, the egg. All right, so let's crack the egg here. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I can crack an egg, that I can do. So we're gonna take our lobster, we're going to dunk first in our wet mixture of butter and milk. Do a nice coat here. Oops, sorry, lemon. Right, oh, you can hear the sizzle already. And into the fire it goes. I think it's time to take the bread out of the oven because I can smell it. Ooh, yes, yes, look at that. I think, minus the burnt tops, it's looking pretty good. You're not done yet, okay. Aioli time. So for the aioli, we are gonna start with one cup of mayonnaise. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard goes in here. The fish oil in here. Some brown sugar. Oh, fire. I hear it, I think it's done. I think it is safe to say that the lobster is ready. Pull it out there. Oh yeah. Gonna give this a nice mix. Incorporate everything. It'll look better <laughs> when I'm done mixing it. I'm gonna slice that open. It looks pretty good. It looks like it rose a little bit. Ooh, it's nice and flaky. It just fell apart, which means it's probably really good. Time for the lobster. So we have that, a little bit more aioli on top. Then we have some lettuce. We top it off. And there is my cracked lobster and fried bread sandwich. If you ask me, smells great. <laughs> Okay, it is time for the moment of truth. We're gonna get Chef Raquel back in here to judge my sandwich. So come on over, Chef. I can't see underneath it, but no. I know what happened. Yes. But um, the true test is going to be taste for me. So cutting skills, 10 out of 10. <laughs> All right, let's talk taste. Okay. <laughs> here you go, I'm gonna take a bite okay. with you, okay? One, two, three. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Mm. I'm still chewing. Me too. And there's a reason why. Uh-oh. Your lobster is a bit overcooked. No. You forgot the five-minute rule, right? Five-minute rule? Oh, cook it for five minutes? Yes, just yeah. until it's golden. Um, lobster fish cooks very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it really didn't need to go longer. But the flavor is amazing. Okay. And um, even though you burnt the bottom part, this sandwich is actually quite edible. Um, actually, the <laughs> um, it's a, it's quite a delicious sandwich. Okay, okay. we can do an elbow bump. Yes, thank you so much. There you go, girl. Okay, so now you have to rate me. Presentation five. Taste 
three. Heart, five. I did it. This is a half-eaten sandwich, but nonetheless, a 13 out of 15 half-eaten sandwich. Come and get it, or make it yourself. You'll probably do better than me, to be honest.